furry ones, they like to spend their summer all the day, down beside the side of the silvery sea. I'm no exception to the rule, in fact, in life my way, I reside by the side of the silvery sea. But when you're just a common or garden smith or Jones or Brown, a business up in town, you've got to settle down. Just save up all the money again till summer comes around. Then away you go to a spot you know where the coral shells are found. Oh, I do love to be beside the seaside. I do like to be beside the sea. I do like to stroll along the plomp, 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 where the brass band plays. So just let me be beside the seaside. I'll be beside myself with glee. For there's lots of girls beside. I should like to be beside, beside the seaside, beside the sea. <laughs> Beside the graveside, oh, I do like to be in a cemetery. This unassuming grave here is to a music hall star called Mark Sheridan, who died in the age of 52, and he was actually one of the biggest music hall stars. You, most people will still know his song. I do like to be beside the seaside. But he also saw, sang songs like Down at the Old Bull and Bush. He was a fantastic entertainer. He travelled all over the world to America, South Africa and so on. He was born in the north of England. But it's quite a story as to how he ended up here at Cathcart Cemetery in the south of Glasgow. This is Eggleton Street in the south of Glasgow, near the city centre. On the right is the O2 Academy, previously the New Bedford Cinema, which opened it in the early 30s. On the left is the old Coliseum building, demolished in 2009. When it was demolished, some of the original features were revealed, including the original sign. This is how the building would have looked to Mark Sheridan, who was a regular music hall performer here. It became a cinema, and this was indicative of the decline in music hall. As a venue, it held around 3,000 people. I'm in Eggleton Street, and as we saw, this is the O2 Academy, and behind me was where the Coliseum stood. The Coliseum was built in 1904, but was demolished in 2009, which I feel is a real tragedy because it was a classic building, and it's a pity, unlike what is now the O2 Academy, it couldn't have been preserved and used a different function. Another piece of Glasgow gone. In January 1918, Mark Sheridan opened his review called Gay Paris, in which he played Napoleon. He opened it at this site, at the Coliseum, and the reason he chose to open his review in Glasgow was he had always been very popular in Glasgow. Indeed, the first audience ever to hear I Do Like To Be Beside The Seaside was a Glasgow audience. There was a lot of pressure on him because he'd put his own money into this £2,000 and there was a cast of 40. It was a co-production with his wife. His two of his sons, Billy and Fred, were also in the cast. 
It was a move on from the old music hall. He had done review before. So the review was kind of like a, a jokey story. Well, it was said that it got bad reviews, but actually when you read the reviews, for example, in the Glasgow Herald, I would say they were lukewarm. I think he was a bit nervous, probably to do with his money and just for other things. And he was probably under pressure with the cast of 40. I'm in the west end of Glasgow, I'm in Kelvin Grove Park and tragically on Tuesday the 15th of January 1918 Mark Sheridan came here with his Browning revolver. When he left the hotel room his wife thought he was bringing the Browning revolver because he was going to use that as a prop to rehearse the part of Napoleon but tragically he shot himself through the head and he was found lying bloody by two schoolboys. Ladies and gentlemen, nice weather for the war. Lovely. At the house behind me at 34 Buccleuch Street in Garnet Hill, this belonged to a Mr. Dunn, who was a graphics artist and he worked in the theatres and he was a friend of Mark Sheridan's. So a short funeral service took place in the house and then Ten cars drove in procession the five miles to Kithkara Cemetery. It was a snowy day and Mark was finally laid to rest. Oh, you with the last night. 